All right, so hello everyone. This is the first class we're doing for November. Um, through Instagram Live, through Zoom, welcome. Today we'll start quite well gently. We'll, I'll give you options to push yourselves and the idea is to have fun. And it's free access. Feel free to spread the word. We'll be doing classes on Thursdays and Fridays. Let me admit. All right. Center. Admit. Okay, and uh, yeah, we'll have fun. Today we'll be focusing a lot on flexions forward, engaging the core, and it's a power yoga class, so we want to find the power, but at the same time, if you're feeling tired, I'll be giving options. Good, we'll start standing up. Find your feet on the ground, pull the shoulders back and down, and reach up through the back of your head. Take a moment to breathe and to notice how you're breathing. And start noticing where you're bearing your weight on your feet. You can slowly shift your weight to one foot then the other, and then find that center point. And then you can shift your weight forward and back and find that center point. Pick up all the toes from the ground, spread your toes, and keep pressing down actively into the feet, respecting the arches of the feet. And then one by one, bring your toes down. Pressing down into the feet, find an engagement through the legs, an engagement in the glutes, and an engagement in the deep core muscles. So you can think of all the layers of muscle at the pelvis, contracting and lifting up. Pull your shoulders back and down, reach up through the back of the head. Relax the muscles of the face. And we'll start synchronizing movement with breath. So as you inhale, bring your arms to the sides and all the way up. As you exhale, bring your arms to the sides and all the way down. Now see if you've lost the engagement of the legs, press down into the feet, inhale, lift the arms up, lengthen through the side body. Exhale, bring the arms to the sides, all the way down. And one more, inhale, bring the arms up. Reach up through the chin, reach up through the arms, and exhale, fold forward. So bend the knees as much as you need to, bring your hands to the legs. Find some more length as you inhale, and then exhale, fold. Three, three breaths here. Keep the weight forward, keep pressing down into the balls of the feet, and reach up through the pelts. Two more breaths. And one. Bring your hands behind the head, so interlace the hands behind the head. And then with the elbows in, allow the weight of the arms to lengthen the back of the neck. Bend your knees and slowly start to unroll up. Slowly one breath at right a time. Keep the chin tucked in and come to stand. Keep pressing the feet down, engage through the glutes and reach up through the arms. Interlace the fingers. Reach up, just the index fingers look up. Look up with the gaze, reach up, lengthen the side body, and then relax the head. Exhale, come to the right side. Use the right hand to pull the left side of the body long. And exhale, see if you can go a bit deeper. And one more breath, inhale into the left side of the body. And exhale, go a bit deeper. All right, pull the belly in as we come up. So engage the deep core muscles, reach up. And exhale, go to the other side. Two breaths here. Use the left hand to lengthen the right arm. And exhale, reach further away. And one more. Press down into the feet. Reach away through the fingertips. And exhale, relax the face. Press feet down. Inhale, come back to center. Reach up through the arms. And exhale, bend the elbows. Pull the elbows back. Press the center of the chest forward. 
Inhale, press the chest forward, reach the chin up, and exhale, elbows back. Unite the shoulder blades and pull them down. One more breath here. Inhale into the center of the chest, reach the chin up higher, and exhale, pull the elbows back, pull the shoulders back and down. All right, bring the arms up, reach all the way up, and exhale, bring your hands to the center of the chest. Bring your head down. And take a moment to notice how you're feeling after a couple of stretches. If you're still holding tension, allow your exhale to take that tension away from the face, from the body. Okay, we'll start the practice chanting OM. If you're not used to chanting, just listen. If you want to chant, feel the vibration of the sound throughout the body. Reach up through the back of the head and inhale to chant on. Oh. Good job. Release your arms, pick up the head and come to the front of your mat. Step at the front, have the feet together or hip distance apart, pull your shoulders back and down, reach up through the back of the head. Take a breath there. All right. We'll start with our sun salutations. Exhale, press your feet down, find your feet in the ground. And then as you inhale, you bring the arms up again. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen through the chest. And exhale, walk back. Low push up. You can bring the knees down, bend the elbows, do a low push up. Inhale, come forward, exhale, up dog. Press the feet down, open through the chest. And exhale, down dog. Push away through the arms. Okay, in this first down dog, you can pedal the knees, stretch the knees, stretch the ankles, stretch the feet. So keep using the breath to lengthen the body. Relax the head, press into the heart, and try to separate the shoulder blades. The shoulders go away from the head. And then you push into the heart to stretch the shoulders. Bend the knees as much as you need to, reach the hips back and up, and then start straightening the legs. Relax the face, take a deep breath here. Exhale, good. And then bend the knees, inhale, walk forward, press down into the hands, open up the chest, and exhale, fall again. Hands on the ground or on the legs. Press feet down and come up, pressing into the feet, reach up through the arms, and exhale, arms by the sides of the body. Right. One more time, press the feet down, inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands on the legs or on the ground. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, walk or you can hop back. So you press and you come to your low push -up. Your knees can come down. Inhale forward, press the tops of the feet down. And exhale, push away down. Good. In this down dog, we'll bend the elbows just a bit and we'll bring the elbows together. So closer to the center. That way we find that Protraction of the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades are wide. And then push into the hands and stretch, keeping the shoulder blades wide. Two more breaths, pushing away through the hands. Remember, you can bend the knees if your hamstrings are screaming. And last one, keep the lower belly in as you push away through the hands and reach the heels back. Good. Bend the knees, inhale, walk or hop forward. And exhale, fold over the legs. Keep all the weight forward. Press into the feet and inhale, rise up. Keep pushing down into the feet as you reach the arms up. And exhale, arms by the sides of the body. All right, we'll do a sun salutation B. Inhale, chair pose. So you sit back, you bend the knees and you reach the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Back to the standing forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Your hands can be on the legs or on the ground. And exhale again, walk or hop back to Chaturanga. You can bring the knees down or keep the legs straight. Inhale, come forward, press down into the feet. And exhale, push up. We'll bring the right foot forward. 
Inhale, right foot forward, left heel is down, and you rise up. And stay here. This is warrior one. Stay, bend the right knee, bring it over the heel. And stay, inhale, reach higher up, stretching up. And exhale, bring the hands down. Push away again to carefully bring the leg back and lower. You can bring the knees down. Inhale forward, up. Yes, and exhale down. Left foot, bring the left foot forward, bring the right heel down. Keep facing forward with the pelvis and reach up through the arms and stay here. Maybe you lower a bit more with the pelvis, keeping the front knee over the heel. Reach higher up as you inhale, stretch the side foot, and then exhale, bring the hands down. Push away, slowly come back, and let the elbows come down. Inhale forward, press the tops of the feet down, and exhale down. Okay, we're coming to dolphin pose, so bring your knees down, bring the elbows down, press the hands and the elbows down, and lift the legs to push the chest back. You can keep the knees bent and keep pressing chest back to open up the shoulders. If you want to straighten the legs, don't lose the shoulder stretch. Keep pressing the chest back. Two more breaths. One more, breathing to the shoulders. Widen the shoulder blades, exhale. All right. Come back up to down dog. You can try to come up from here or bring the knees down and then come back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, lower, hop forward, come to the front of the mat, and exhale, fold. And then inhale to a chair pose, you sit back, pressing the heels down, you reach the arms up, and exhale, come up, and bring the arms by the sides of the mat. Okay, last one, inhale, sit back, keep the lower belly in as you reach the arms up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, lower, hop back to a chaturanga. So a low push up, bend the elbows, pull the belly in, if the legs slide forward, press the feet up, open the chest, and exhale, push back, downward facing. Okay, right foot forward again, high lunge. So pick up the back heel this time, keep the belly in, reach the arms up. Good, and then exhale directly down, bring the hands down, push away and lower. Inhale forward, press the tops of the feet down, open through the chest, and exhale back, push away into the hands. Left foot, inhale the left foot forward, right heel up, keep the belly in as you reach up through the arms, and exhale lower, keep pressing away through the hands to lower with control. Inhale, come forward to an up dog, opening through the chest, squeezing the glutes, and exhale, push away, to downward facing dog. If you need to rest, you bring the knees down, you sit back, and you take child's pose for five breaths. If you want to keep working, you come to your dolphin pose, and this time, you can bring one leg up. Two breaths with one leg up, pressing the chest back, reaching the leg up. And one, and then switch leg for two more breaths. If you're resting, just rest. One more breath, keep pressing the chest towards the thigh, pressing hands, elbows down, and then bring the foot down, and slowly come back to down from wherever you are, come back to your downward facing. All right, from down dog, reach the hips up and back, and then inhale, bend the knees, walk or pop forward, half lift, and exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, sit back, bring the arms up, and stay. Sit back and breathe. Three breaths. Keep reaching the arms away and keep sitting back and down. Four, two, and one. All right, come to the half pose, lower for three more breaths. Keep pressing the heels down. The legs are working hard. Four, two, keep stretching the arms, reaching them up, and one. All right, bring the arms behind the back, interlace, open up through the chest, and exhale, fall forward. Three breaths, with the chest towards the feet, with the hips up and stretch the arms. Two more breaths. Try to have all the weight at the tippy toes, at the tips of your toes, all the weight forward. The legs are squeezed to keep you from falling. Last one, inhale deeply. All right, exhale, bring the hands down. We push away through the hands, 
and we take a small step back. Pick up the heels, keep pushing into the hands. Try to have all the weight on the hands. Three breaths. Stretch the shoulders, stretch the elbows. Four, two, and keep the core engaged, reaching the hips up. And one, okay. So we bend the knees, we take the knees to the outside of the triceps and we shift weight forward. Rounding the back, maybe you stay here, maybe you're able to pick up one foot, maybe both. So three breaths, you don't need to pick up the feet, keep rounding and keep pressing the hands down. Four, two, it helps to look forward, keep rounding, and one, pressing to the hands, you can try to hop back or walk back. Chaturanga, so come to a low push up again. Inhale to an up dog, and exhale down. All right, good job. Bring the right foot forward, the left heel down, and look towards the left side. Reach the arms out, warrior two position. So the pelvis looks to the left, your gaze towards the right hand. Two more breaths. Press the heels down to engage the legs and feel all the energy lifting up from the pelvis, making your spinal column longer. Press down into the feet and now straighten the front leg and bring the right hand to the leg. Triangle pose. If you want to make it harder, you have the arm to the inside and it doesn't touch anything. Keep the legs straight, reach away through the arms. You can look up or relax the head. Three breaths. Keep pressing down into the feet, strengthening the lower belly, four, two. And one, press into the feet and bring the top hand forward. If you want to really challenge yourself, also bring the bottom hand. Three more breaths. You don't need to bring the bottom hand forward. Four, two, keep the chest open, lengthen the side body, and one. Turn the chest forward, reach the arms forward and to the leg. If needed, you take the left foot a bit to the left, Reach the pubis back, open up, and exhale forward. Three breaths. Keep the lower belly in, lengthen through the spine so you can come a bit lower. Four, two. Press the right foot down to engage the right thigh. Press the left outer foot down to engage the left glute. And one. All right. Left hand on the leg, right hand on the hip, and you twist towards the right. Three breaths. Keep the belly in to find more twist with the chest, chest and maybe you reach the arm up. So twist, or two. Keep the belly in, keep pressing feet down. Yes. And all right, good job. Slowly bring the hands to the ground, bend the front knee, take the left knee down. Press down into the right heel, and then come up, round your back. Hands on the thigh, and round to bring the head towards the knee. Three breaths. You should really feel the left hip flexor working. So really squeeze your glutes, suck your belly in. Four, two. And one. All right. Pull the belly in, come up, and slowly bring the hands down and straighten the front leg. If possible, have the hips over the knees. If hands on the ground doesn't work for you, you can keep them on the waist, whatever it works. Three breaths. Keep the foot flexed, the belly in, Open through the chest. Four, two. And one, all right. And last one. You bend the right knee and you take the hands to the inside for lizard pose. So you have different options. You can stay with the back knee down or you can straighten the back leg. Keep pressing the hands down. Keep the hands to the inside, inside of the leg. Good. If you want more, you bring the elbows down. Three breaths, good. So the leg is on the outside, the outside of the arms, and then maybe you come down. Four, two. And one, okay, come back up to the hands. All right, to come out, you first pick up the right foot, you press into the hands, and if you want to, you can bend the elbows and try to find some balance forward and then come back and just walk. If it doesn't work, just come back. And exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up, to, and exhale, down. Okay, bring the knees down, walk the hands forward, and press the chest towards the ground, relax the face, and breathe. Three breaths, stretching the chest, stretching the shoulders. 
forward to keep the hips over the knees and keep pressing the chest down. And all right, come to the fingertips, forming cups with the hands, keep pressing the chest down, three breaths. Two. Feel the work at the shoulders and keep the lower belly in. Lengthen the back. And one. Tap the lower belly in and start to come up, round the back. Three more breaths with the back rounded. Keep the arms stretched, straight, or two. Keep the reaching back with the hips forward with the wrists. And one. All right, slowly walk the hands back and come to child's pose for three breaths. You can relax the elbows if you really want to keep working. You can keep the arms straight, pressing up. Two more breaths. And one. Okay, second side. Come forward to all fours. And then exhale to a downward facing dog. We'll bring the left leg forward. Inhale, left foot forward, right leg down. Keep the left knee at 90 degrees. Send the sit bones down and reach the arms out. Three breaths, warrior two position. Keep the shoulders back and down for the chest to be proud and keep your ribs in, lifting up. Four, two. And one, inhale here. And exhale, straighten the front leg. You can bring the back foot in a bit and then bring the left hand down, reach the right arm up. If you want more, you have the right leg arm just hanging to the inside. Reach away through the arms, three breaths. Good. Keep the belly in, keep straightening up through the right arm to open the right chest, four, two. And one, and now bring the right arm forward and maybe the left, three breaths. You can keep the left hand up. Four, two, keep the belly in, keep lengthening the side body. And one, that's it. Pull yourself forward through the hands, Hands to the leg, you can bring the right leg out a bit, toes facing forward. Send your hips back to lengthen and exhale, hold, three breaths. You don't need to come too far down, keep thinking of long chest and keep pressing feet down. Two. And one. And finally the twist, right hand is on the left, left hand comes to the hip and you look to the left. Keep the shoulders back and down towards the back, towards the sacrum, and then maybe you reach the left arm up. Lengthen and breathe. Three breaths. Keep pressing the feet down, keep stretching the chest. Four, two. And another right. good job. Take the hands down, bend the front knee, take the right knee back. More or less right angle with both knees and bring the hands to the left side, round down, three breaths. So you're really flexing the spine, rounding, rounding the spine and bringing the head towards the knee. Two more breaths. And one, press into the feet to come up slowly and straighten the front leg. You can keep the hands on the waist. Or if you want to, you pull the belly, you open up the chest and you bring the hands down. Keep the front foot flexed to work with the left thigh. Two more breaths. One. All right. And lizard pose. So the left foot is on the left side of the mat. The arms are on the inside. You push to straighten. Maybe you stay here or you straighten the back leg. Maybe you stay here or you bring the elbows down. Choose the intensity, keep the hips square. So think of pushing the left knee against the torso and keep reaching back with the right heel as you squeeze the right glute forward. Two more breaths. Keep the lower belly in, lengthen through the spine. And one, bring the hands down. Push away to lift the left foot off the ground. And maybe you shift some weight, bending the elbows, trying to lift the back leg. The more you come forward, the more weightless is the foot and maybe it picks up. And then exhale, come up. If it doesn't happen, don't worry. Inhale, up, dog. And then exhale, down. All right, good job. Walk towards the feet. So walk to the back of the mat. Bend the knees as much as you need to and hold on to the big toes. So with the knees bent, pull the belly in and open up the chest. So come to the back of the mat with the hands 
and then lengthen through the spine. Three breaths. Exhale, fold down. Two more breaths. So try to have all the weight forward. The toes are pressing down onto the fingers, and then you're using the hands to pull the torso towards the feet. And one. All right, good. Pull the belly in. Inhale, lengthen. And again, bend the knees as much as you need to to bring the hands under the feet. With the hands under the feet, lengthen the spine, and exhale, bend the elbows to fold. Even if the knees are bent, you're still working. Three breaths. Keep shifting weight forward. The more you shift weight forward, the more you can squeeze the front of the leg to stretch the back of the leg. Two. And one. Belly in, inhale and lengthen. And then bring the hands to the ground. And then bring the hands to the waist. Pick up the heels, if needed, you bend the knees. Fix your eyes on one point and try to come up with the heels lifted. The straighter the legs, the harder. So you choose the intensity. Keep the lower belly in, keep the heels on the ground and reach the arms. Okay, so from the back of your mat, you start shifting weight towards one foot to take a step forward with the other. Keep the heels up and go in slow motion to really work with the legs to come to the front of the mat. Keep the heels as high as possible and keep reaching up through the arms. When you're at the front, reach higher up through the arms, and then exhale, bring the hands down, the heels down. Open up the feet, se separate the feet, and sit back and down. You want to sit all the way down. So at one point, you might have to pick up the heels. If you don't have to pick up the heels, then even better. But if you pick up the heels, Stay with your balance and bring your hands in front of the chest. Open up the hips by pressing the elbows back. Three breaths here. So you have heels down or heels lifted and you use the elbows to open the chest. Four, two. And one. All right. We'll round the back and we'll bring the hands towards the ground. Three breaths with the back really rounded. Keep the heels on the ground if they're lifted. Then just think of the heels moving down, even if they're not on the ground, just to lengthen the back of the leg, the calves. One more breath. All right, keep rounding down and then come back. If you need to use the hands, if you don't need to, you just shift your weight to sit back. You'll straighten the legs forward and we'll start with all of our forward folds for today. So you want the legs to be straight, the feet to be flexed, and you think of sending the pubis back. If it's too much, if you're rounding too much, you can fold your mat, or you can place a blanket under the seat bones at the, the edge of your pelvis to find some more height and some more curve. You need that curve, you need that anterior tilt, sticking the back out so that you come forward. So flex the feet, send the pubis back, inhale, Fingertips on the ground, open the chest, and exhale, start flexing forward. You don't need to come too far down. You choose where to go. If you want to, you can grab your big toes, but you don't need to. Three breaths. What matters is to keep flexing and lengthen. Four, two. And one with the lower belly in. Use the hands to open up the chest to come up, and we'll bring the right knee in and out. So you want the hip to open up with the right hip open. You press the right foot against the left inner groin and again you start with the hands back and you exhale start folding forward. Flex the left foot and breathe. If you want to move with the hands forward make sure you're not losing the length of the spine. Three breaths. Keep the left foot flexed to engage the left thigh and keep sending the pubis back, reaching the head forward, forward two. But move with the chest, keep the lower belly in and suck the ribs forward. And one, with the left foot flex, inhale and lengthen. And then exhale, slowly come out. Use the hands, use the deep core strength, and we'll switch sides. So you'll bring the right foot out, right, the right foot straight, the left knee out. Again, if needed, you place something under the sit bones, lengthen and exhale, fold. Keep the right foot flexed 
and you can keep the hands down, lengthen, and three breaths. Keep the foot flex, the right thigh up, or two. Think of the whole rib cage like a barrel pulling in and reaching forward. And one, belly in and lengthen before coming out. Lengthen, reach up, and slowly you bring both feet in like a butterfly. So this is Paragonasana, Bano Dango Pose. Use the hands to separate the feet, opening them up like a book. And then from there, just think of that extra rotation of the hips. So you want to feel that the inner thighs are moving back. Start with the fingers back and open up the chest. Three breaths. And then slowly you might flex forward, but keep that length. If you're already feeling the opening with the torso up, there's no need to fold. All right. Engage the lower belly and slowly reach the chest forward and up. Use the hands to bring the knees in, out. We'll straighten the left leg and we'll bring the knee, the right knee in with the right foot to the outside. So the right knee comes in and the right foot is out with the top of the foot on the ground. You open up through the chest and then you try to come down. If it's too much for the knee, you can separate the knees and you can stay further up and breathe. The more you flex, the deeper you go into it. Two more breaths. Keep the left foot flex, the left thigh working. All right, and slowly come out and we'll switch sides. Again, be careful when you're coming out and in. Press the left foot down, keep the knees next to one another, or if it's too much, separate the knees. Send the pubis back, open up, flex the right foot. Three breaths. If you want to fold forward, make sure you're lengthening and that it's not hurting yourself. Four, two. And one. Lengthen to come out, and slowly straighten both legs again. We'll now bend the knees, send the pubis back, and we'll start with the lower belly, sucking it in and laying it on top of the thighs. So you want to bend the knees as much as possible so that you can lengthen and rest on top of the legs. From there, you can start straightening the legs, but you don't need to straighten uh, too much because you don't want to separate. So stay with the thighs, and then allow your head to come down. If you want to go deeper, don't separate the chest from the thighs. And breathe down low. Breathe all the way down to the hips. And breathe up through the mouth. Two more times. Breathe to the hips. And now through the mouth. Relax the face, relax the jaw, and breathe all the way down. And out through the mouth. Okay. Open up the knees. This time the knees are like 90 degrees open. So they're not like before where the feet were closer. And use the hands back to again open up the chest. Shift the weight a bit forward. And when you find the resistance, stay and breathe. Three breaths. Two. And slowly come back. And we'll come to a 90-90 position. So the front knee is at 90 degrees. And the back knee is also at, at 90 degrees. So you find the front knee parallel to the, the front shin parallel to the front side of the mat and the back shin parallel to the side of the mat. Try to shift weight to both uh, hips. Don't just lean on one side. Inhale and lengthen and exhale. Maybe you fall forward. You choose how deep to go. Three breaths. Two. And one. Pull the lower belly in. If it was already enough, you don't have to change a lot of things. You can take the right foot a bit closer to the hip and then start straightening the back leg. 
If the back leg doesn't straighten, bring the hands down and pick up the hips. So you can come up with the back leg straight and move the leg back until you find that hip stretch. And breathe. If you want to go deeper, you bring the front foot a bit further. Breathe here. Keep weight on the hands if needed and breathe into the hips. It's an it's a intense stretch if you're not used to it. Keep the front foot flexed, the back foot pressing. Two more breaths. And all right. Start bringing the chest forward and maybe that's all you do. Maybe it's just a, a small shift of your weight. Maybe you come forward and you come down to the elbows. All right. Breathe here. Make sure you have weight on the left side too, not all the weight on the right. Three breaths. The closer you come to the ground, the more intense. Relax the face. Two. And one. Up. Slowly come up, use your hands, and slowly bring the leg back. All right, draw some circles with the heat that we were working with. Keep the heel close to the glute, and then go the other way. All right, good. Switching side, so you'll bring the left leg forward. 90 degrees and 90 degrees with the back leg. Start more conservatively, start on the left and then slowly try to shift weight to the right and slowly start to shift weight forward with the pubis and the back. Three breaths. The more you bring the chest forward, the more the intensity, keep the feet flexed. Two. And one again, if it's a lot, you don't need to move a lot. Slowly come back, bring the left foot in and start straightening the back leg. If needed, bring the hands down, pick up the hips and stay. If you can go further back with the right leg, go back. If you can come forward with the left foot, come forward. Find your edge and breathe. You can keep weight on the hands or you can start bringing weight down. Three breaths. Two. And one. Be careful, one hip might be more open than the other, so go forward as much as this hip needs without comparing to it to the other side. And maybe again you come forward. Keep lengthening. So press the right foot down, keep the left foot flexed and lengthen the spine. And maybe you come down to your chest. Three breaths. Stay and be. Or two. And slowly come out. Use the hands. Bring the back knee in slightly and allow the front leg to come back. And then from there, from a tabletop position, draw circles with the knee. Keep the heel close to the glute and then switch sides. Right. Slowly we'll come down to lying on our belly. We'll bring the arms back. All right. Bring the tops of the hands down, reach the legs back and press the feet down. Only the upper body will move. Press the chin down, pull it forward and lift up as you exhale. And inhale, chest forward and down. Two more times, exhale, forward and up. Pull the shoulders back, inhale, forward and up. And last one, exhale, forward and up. And inhale, forward and up. All right, turn your head to one side and relax. Three deep breaths into the belly. Two. And one. Turn to face forward. Press the chin down, pull it forward, pull the shoulders up and back. And this time you stay or you interlace the hands back and we stay for three breaths. Pull the arms back to open the chest. Four, two, keep pressing the feet down, lengthen the spine, 
and one. Reach forward and come down. Look at the other side and relax. Three breaths, stay here. Four, two, keep breathing. And one, all right. Slowly come back to center. We'll do a cobra pose. So have the feet together now, hands under the shoulders, elbows in, and then the hands are pulling back. So you're pressing down with the palms and pulling back. And that pull opens up the, up the chest. So pull back with the hands to pull the shoulders back. Keep the elbows bent and think of the inner shoulder blades plugging together and pushing forward. So the sternum, the center of the chest, pushes forward and up. One more breath. Press the feet down, reach higher up with the chest, with the chin, and then exhale, pull yourself forward and come down. All right, come around to lie face up. We'll do a bridge pose. So with, with the feet around the, of the, we'll separate them at around hip distance apart, so around the opening of the hips. Press the feet down, press the hands down, and inhale, pick up the hips, chest to chin, Exhale, reach the hips towards the heels and look. Two more times. Press heels down, inhale, bring the hips up, chest to chin, keep the head down, and exhale, length. And one more, press the heels down, reach away through the hips, up through the chest, and exhale, reach away and look. All right, good. Bring your hand, your knees to the chest, hug the knees close, flex the feet, and exhale, flex the trunk, the Torso to bring the head towards the knees. Inhale, lie back. And then hold on to the right knee, straighten the left leg. Left foot, both feet are flexed. And then from here, we'll open up the right hip. So our, uh, open up the right knee to the right. And you can bring the left hand on top of the left hip to make sure that it doesn't lift up. Keep the hip down, the glutes down, and breathe into the right hip. Feet flexed. Two more breaths. And one, bring the knee back to center, hug the knee with the left hand and twist. So now you pick up the hips and you bring the knee to the left, open up the arm, the right arm to the right and look towards the right. Three breaths. If possible, have the knee grounded and if the shoulder is up, it doesn't matter, try to have the elbow down. Four, two. Keep the shoulder blades together towards the foot and one. All right, engage the belly to come back to center. And then straighten the leg. Maybe the leg goes away as you straighten it. That's okay, find that straight leg. And then use the hands to try and bring the leg closer to the chest, point the three breaths. Maybe you walk the hands up the leg, four, two. And one and last flex, exhale. Pick up the chest, head towards the knee. And then inhale, come back and switch sides straight to the right leg. Take a moment to breathe into the hips. Breathe out through the mouth. And then bring both knees in, hug them. Flex the feet and then straighten the right. This time, second side. So flex the feet, pull the belly in, knee to chest, heel to glute. And open up the left knee to the side, open up the right arm to the other side. Or keep the right hand on the hip if your if your pelvis tends to tilt. So make sure the glutes are down. Two breaths here. Keep the feet flexed. Relax the face. Relax the jaw. Open through the hip. And one. Bring the knee back to center. Hug it with the right knee and pull it towards the right. Open up the left hand. So twist. Three. Two. And one, belly in, come back to center. Okay, now you can straighten the leg, point the foot. It's fine if it's further away. And then pull it in with the leg, with the hands. All right, exhale, flex. And inhale, come down. Okay, bring one hand to the belly, the other hand to the chest. Inhale into the belly. And exhale through the mouth. Try not to move the chest. Breathe down into the belly and out through the mouth. 
And one more time, breathe into the belly, push the belly button up, and breathe out through the mouth. Out. Bring the knees in, we'll finish with some crunches. So with the knees in, you allow your lower back to be on the ground, the palms are on the ground, and then you reach the palms towards the feet, keep the chin tight, exhale, crunch, and then inhale, lift. So the hands are on the ground, you bring the chin in, exhale, pick up the chest, and inhale, come back, and one more. Exhale, you crunch, relax, and inhale, come back. All right, pick up the legs, chins parallel to the ground, pick up the arms, hands can be, arms can be out, straight, or you bring the hands behind the head, elbows in, and again, chin in, exhale, crunch, elbows towards the, the hip creases, and then go back, two more. If your arms are straight, you exhale, you reach away, in, go back, and last one, exhale, and hold for three breaths. So keep the lower back down, keep the feet flexed. Four, two, widen the shoulder blades, lengthen the neck, keep the lower back down, and one. And slowly come back, one vertebra at a time. Hack both knees and draw circles with the knees. And switch direction, draw circles the other way. Okay, happy baby pose. Separate the legs, knees at 90 degrees, and you can hold on to the calves or the feet. Try to bring the knees close to the armpits, lengthen the lower back. Inhale into the lower back, and exhale through the mouth. Inhale into the lower back. Exhale through the mouth. One more. Inhale, lower back, press it down, lengthen it. And exhale through the mouth. Good. Bring the heels to the glutes, bring the knees back together. And then take the feet down and separate the knees apart. Again, butterfly legs. You can use the hands to support, or you can bring the hands on top to help open up the hips. Inhale all the way down to the hips. And exhale through the mouth. Keep them the ground. And we open up the knees. Inhale all the way to the hips. Exhale through the mouth. Relax the face. And one more time. Inhale into the hips. And out through the mouth. Good. Use your hands to bring the knees together. So use some force with the arms so that we don't just collapse on the hips. Separate the feet now, so the knees are together with the feet apart, and think of lengthening the lower back. The whole lower back is on the ground, so if you want to, you pick up the hips to reach the sit bones towards the heels, you lengthen the lower back, and you make sure that all the lower back, the whole lumbar zone is on the ground. Bring again one hand on the chest, the other on the belly, and breathe into the belly. Breathe out through the mouth. Into the belly. Out mouth. Relax the shoulders. Relax the head into the belly. Breathe. And out through the mouth. Good. If you feel that your neck is um, like pinching, then bring the chin in slightly to left on the back of the neck. And you can place something under your head, under your neck, if it's not comfortable. Relax the eyebrows. If your knees are comfortable, bent, keep them bent. Otherwise, start to walk the legs out and lengthen the legs, straighten the legs out, and allow the feet to turn out to the sides. Breathe from the feet all the way to the head. Think of a deep breath starting from the feet, going up to the head, and exhale through the mouth to let go of any tension any pressure, any engagement. Two more times, breathe from the feet all the way up. Out through the mouth, release, let go. And one more time, breathe deeply. And breathe out completely. Relax the face, relax the jaw. 
if you prefer to straighten the arms, then bring the hands by the sides of the body, palms facing up and fingers curling in. Relax the muscles of the face and allow the breath to be natural. Breathe into the lower belly and breathe out through the mouth. Come back to a natural breath through the nose. Just relax the face, relax the arms, relax the legs. And stay here, motionless, relaxed, to allow the body to digest everything we've been doing. Keep your eyes closed or fixed at one point, but relax the gaze. And we'll stay here for a minute or two. So relax completely. And if your mind gets distracted, just come back to this feeling of complete relaxation, surrendering to gravity and allowing your body to surrender, let go, let be, and relax. Very gently, keeping your eyes closed. So bringing your awareness back to your body. Back to your breath. And start breathing into the belly to feel the energy gathering there. Breathe out, empty your lungs. Breathe into the belly, push the belly button up. And breathe out, cool it back down to the earth. Breathe deep into the belly, expand. And breathe out, send that energy to your hands, to your feet. Just feel, feel the pulse at the fingertips, at the toe tips. Feel the warmth and slowly start turning that energy into movement. Start moving the feet, the hands, start moving the head from side to side. Use movement, use breath to wake the body up. And there's no need to open the eyes unless you choose to. Stretch the arms, stretch the legs, flex, and move in any way your body needs to move in order to wake up. Take your time and we'll meet in a seated position in one minute. So make the most of these 60 seconds. Thank you. 
Back to keep the chest open. Reach back up through the back of the head. Think of sitting in front of the sit bones and curling the tailbone again. We'll finish the practice like we started it. So from where you are, just bring your hands to the chest for one home. Relax the muscles of the face, relax the shoulders back and down, which are way through the back of the head and inhale to chant. Take a moment of observation. And take a moment of appreciation. Feel appreciative for your body, for everything it allows you to do. Feel appreciative for your life, for all the opportunities and the challenges. And breathe into that feeling of appreciation. Breathe out, allow every cell of your body to feel 